So everybody, uh, this is a cycle, so it's very cyclical. Everybody's born with a certain amount of potential. Um, your height, your, uh, your athletic ability, things like that. That's like you are, you're given a certain amount of DNA, you're given a certain amount of ge genetics, that's true. That'll, I mean, that, there's, there's no uh, arguing that, right? Somebody, somebody who wants to be a professional basketball player, but they're, they're five, four, they're gonna have a hard time doing it. Now, it's not impossible because we've actually seen five, four basketball players in the NBA, it's not impossible. But the potential is not as much as somebody else. But don't judge a lot of things from your potential. Everybody's born with a certain amount of potential, okay? Now from that potential, whatever it is, whatever hand you're dealt, people take a certain amount of action. People will get a specific amount of results from that action, and then they will have um, a reaffirmed belief from whatever results they achieve. Does that make sense? People take a specific amount of action. From that, they achieve X amount of results. From their results, they will reaffirm whatever their belief is. Now here's the thing, what is someone's belief? This cycle is the reason why the rich get richer, the poor get poorer, the fat get fatter, and the fit get fitter. It's because of a cycle, okay? It starts with your belief. What do you believe? Do you believe that you can get into shape? Do you believe that you can lose 50 pounds, 60 pounds, whatever it is? Mark just left. I wish you would have stayed around to give him to talk about him. For someone to for someone to lose 100 pounds, like Mark has, like Shauna has, like some of the others, you have to believe that you can first. From that, they will develop some sort of potential, whatever that may be, and they'll start to take action. But if you don't believe that you can, why the hell are we even here? Whether if it's a little belief, or it's like, no, I'm, it's going to happen, we have to have this first. We have to have this first. But let's go on the other end of the spectrum. For people that... don't have any hope. Let's talk, let's talk about that. For people that feel hopeless, I guess life's supposed to be this way. I've, I've been like this my whole entire life. My entire family's this way. It's just, it just seems hopeless that this is the way I'm destined to be. Some of you guys may have felt that before. This is a belief. And from this belief, you've had the mindset, I'm not saying you guys in particular, I'm just like people have even the mindset it doesn't matter what I do, I can't lose weight. And even if I do, I'll probably put it back on because that's what's happened in the past. It's no matter how hard I've tried, I can't get my muscle up. That's a belief. That's a belief. But your beliefs, your thoughts will eventually come back and affect your actions. Your actions or your lack thereof of actions affect your end results. Would you guys agree with that? It's just common sense, right? Your yeah. action or lack of actions is going to have some effect on your results, whatever the results you're looking for. Whatever the results you end up getting because of your action or lack of actions reaffirms whatever the belief was. And it's just over and over and over and over. So where does this cycle start and where does it stop and how do we get out of one and into another one? I don't know. Shauna was talking about earlier this afternoon where she got to a point where she was just sick and tired of being where she was at. She hated what she looked like. This is what she shared with the class. She hated what she looked like. She was just unhappy with herself. And she says, you know what, I'm done with this. And she says, I don't care what it's going to take, I'm going to do it. And that's a belief. I don't care what it's going to take, I'm going to do it. Two years later, she's lost 120 pounds. It may have not as happened as quickly as somebody would like it, but it doesn't matter how long it takes as long as it still happens. But it all has to start with what's going on in between your ears. And this is also another reason why we still emphasize practicing your RAS, practicing your uh, morning rituals, uh, your mental leveraging. And I share this with I share this with the camp all the time and stuff. It's like I don't even I don't even 
I don't even space my stuff out. I cram as much as I can. I cram as much as I can <laughs> onto my pages as much as possible. And I'm doing this every single day, every single day. It's just mental reps, mental reps, mental reps, over, 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 over again. Because I'm, 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 I'm formulating a belief. I'm practicing mental leveraging. I'm practicing developing a system that's going to help me take more action, that's going to lend some more positive results, and it's just going to reaffirm this belief. I have goals. I have goals for the gym. I have goals for each and every one of you. I will reach them, period. I don't know how long it'll take, and I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to get there. Whether if it's in the next six months or just the next 18 months or whatever, I don't. I can care less. It's going to happen. And when it happens, I'll let every single one of you know. But it starts here. If you don't think that you can, you're right. If you think that you can, you're right. Period. Whether you think you can or you think you can, you're right. So for this to work, you have to believe. Well, David, how do I believe? I don't know. <laughs> if I could go into your brain and flip the switch, I wish I could. I don't know. It really starts with you. What goes on here and what goes on here. But the things that you want to set out, the things that you want to achieve, has to take action. But your action is going to be completely influenced from your belief. You see someone in here do something amazing. How many, let's ask you this. How many times, I think this is that disk space. I'm going to still run. How many times have you guys ever seen somebody perform something amazing in here and thought to yourself, I'll never be able to do that? Be honest. How many of you guys have ever thought that? How many times have you ever seen somebody perform something amazing and you'd be like, you know what, I'm gonna, that's so freaking awesome and one day I'm going to be able to do that? How many times have you ever thought that? Be honest. Has it happened? I was yeah. like, if they can do it, I know I can do it. But you see how that works? I'll never, I'll never do that. You're right. So when I see, even like for myself, when I see some people do some amazing things, whether it's in fitness, whether it's in business, if it's, if uh, 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 I see it, 